Welcome everyone! We've already posted a lot of videos for teachers, but we know you also need some help using our platform to do your homework. So let me introduce you to the range of digital learning material available at mozoweb.com. First, open a web browser and go to mozoweb.com. This is what you'll see when you first land on the page. To use mozoweb, you'll need to log in. If you haven't created a user account before, you just need a few minutes to do it now. Click on Login, then on Create New Account, and in just a few minutes you have a brand new MozoWeb user account. Enter your name and your email address. Type that in twice to prevent errors from mistyping. Also, enter a password that you'll use to access the page later. For security reasons, you also have to enter that twice. You can enter the name of the town or city where you live, too. You don't have to enter the name of your school now. You can do that later on. If you enter the name of your school, your teachers can easily find you and send you great interactive homework assignments. You'll see two buttons at the bottom of the form. According to the GDPR regulations on privacy, you need to state whether you've turned 16 yet. If you haven't yet, you'll need a parent's or guardian's permission to create a MozoWeb account. Enter the name of your mom or dad, or your guardian, and their email address below. You can also ask them to do it for you. Then, click on Create to finish creating a new MozoWeb user account and log in to the page at the same time. MozoWeb will send an activation link to the email address you've just entered. You'll need to click on the link to activate your user account. Once you have a MozoWeb user account, click here to log into the page and start using the available digital resources. After logging in, you'll land in the My Learn menu. You can find it later on too if you click on My Learn in the top right hand corner. I'll talk about two of the colored tiles you can see here. The first one is My Books. If you click on it, you'll find the digital textbooks available to you. Also, you may find several digital books that were made available to everyone for free until the end of this term. To see the list of digital books, click on the Purchase New Book button. Books that are available for free will have a Free Access button next to them. You can filter the textbooks by various criteria. Now, I'll choose a school subject from the list on the left side of the page and a textbook on that subject. I've chosen a textbook. Click on the cover to find out more about the book. If you see the red Free Access button here, it means you can open this book and use all its content free of charge, including interactive content. Use the page turning arrows or the table of contents or enter a page number to navigate. You'll find various icons in the margins of the book. Click on them to open 3D scenes, videos, audio files, or interactive applications. You can explore these yourselves. Let's go back to MyLearn. Now I'll show you another tile. This is the homework tile. As I mentioned before, if you entered the name of your school, your teachers can find you and send you great interactive homework assignments. Click on the tile to see your homework assignments. You'll see the latest one at the top. The title is The Solar System, The Earth. In the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the time you've already spent completing the homework assignment. Just drag the labels to the right places in the image. Worksheets may contain several exercises. Complete all the exercises on the worksheet before you send it to your teacher. Once you click on the Send button, you won't be able to change your answers. The teachers received your answers and will check them. If you click on the Media Library menu item at the top of the page, you can browse 3D scenes, videos, 
audio files, and digital lessons. Let's take a look at the 3D scenes now. There are more than a thousand of them. The scenes are organized by school subject. Now, let's take a look at a biology 3D scene, the one about T. rex. Click on the picture to open the 3D scene. You can rotate the model to see it from all directions. At the bottom, you can find buttons to open different views. In most 3D scenes, there's an animation button. If you click on it, you can watch a short animated film the on the topic. Tyrannosaurus rex, meaning tyrant lizard, is the best known species in the genus Tyrannosaurus. It lived in the late... Let's take a look at the video library too. It looks very similar. Videos are organized by school subject. Let's click on chemistry. You can find a lot of videos on chemical experiments. If you click on the Tools menu item, you can find all kinds of cool interactive applications. Notice a long list of available thematic tools for all subjects. For example, we have physical experimentation tools like ElectroKit, or even tools for music, Miniscore, to write and play music. Let's take a look at what we find in mathematics. One of the most useful ones is the weekly practice tool. Select the subject you want to practice. Set your school grade. And, when you click on Save, the tool will generate a worksheet for you based on your settings. Let's say you're currently learning about the multiplication table. Click on Check to see the answers you gave that are right and wrong. One of my answers was wrong, but the other two were right. I'll also show you one of my favorite tools. It's the Number Hero, designed to practice mental calculation in a fun way. In this game, you'll jump on top of skyscrapers with a superhero, but you'll need to do calculations. If your answer is wrong, the superhero will fall, and the game's over. Thank you for your attention. I recommend everyone watch our tutorial videos to learn about MozaBook and MozaWeb. If you need further information, please go to our website at mozaweb.com and scroll down to the page to find the Can We Help You menu item. Click on it and write to us at our customer support page.